hunting has been a part of my life ever since I was a kid. My dad introduced me to, to hunting uh, by way of a 410 shotgun and going after rabbits and squirrels. Uh, that's always stuck with me, even through my military time and, it, you know, through my adulthood. And when I came to Texas, I had a chance to uh, open that part of my life up again. And uh, it came in the form of hog hunting. So, surprisingly enough, a good friend of mine uh, set up a hunt for my father and I. So I got to repay the favor and take him on a night hog hunt. Needless to say, I was hooked ever since. So I came back and started to uh, build my arsenal of uh, hog killing weapons. <laughs> and uh, it's, been, it's been sky's the limit ever since. So, but that's what I'm about. Hog hunting, any type of hunting, predators, Bobcats, coyotes, you name it, I'm going to knock it down. If a farmer says it needs to go, just give me a call. I'll make sure it's gone. <laughs> is hunting bigger than just killing something for you? Yeah, it is. Uh, hunting, it, it, it's a lot bigger than just to kill. Uh, I take pride in the fact that the meat that I harvest will go to families uh, that need it. Not everybody is on the same level of being fortunate. And I take pride in being able to provide something. It's a win-win. Farmers get the hogs removed. You know, I get to fulfill my, my, my want and my desire for hunting. And uh, families get to reap the benefit of the harvest, you know. So it, it's, it's a full circle deal where it's a good feeling all, all around. It's just hard to put it in, in the words. Uh, I could sit in the blind, sit in the back of my truck for hours and just listen to the silence and enjoy just being out there. Um, if you're having problems, it's the perfect time to think them through as you're waiting for game to come through. And uh, yeah, it's, it gives me a peace of mind being able to hunt. Yeah, I spent nine years in the military and Yes, I'm currently a law enforcement officer, and I didn't have to fire my gun in the military, even though I was in during the first Gulf War. I happened to be in a nuclear artillery unit uh, during the first Gulf War, stationed in Turkey. But uh, the things that I've seen, having to go out to Portland several times, I spent a total of four months out there, it would be enough to give a person PTSD. But I'm not claiming that I have that, because I don't. I, I'm, I'm pretty good with my uh, state of mind. I'm just letting you know that uh, when you think about what the world is going through right now, and you can leave it all behind. During the pandemic, everybody's struggling and panicking and worried about not being, being outdoors. Guess what? This guy was out in, the, out in the woods, sitting in a blind, sitting in the back of a truck. We're on a boat fishing, you know? It's all about that outdoor life. Uh, man, I'm not gonna go through the whole list because if I leave somebody out, <laughs> I don't wanna up upset anyone. But the, the people I've met in my hunting experience here in South Texas, I consider to be a uh, family, you know? Uh, hunting true hunters, it breaks down all the barriers. You know, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your economic background is. It doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are. It doesn't matter about anything except enjoying that time hunting. And my hunting circle is small because it's a trust factor. You're out there with guns and, and, and you need to be comfortable with with someone handling a gun around you mistakes happen and me personally I love my life you know so I want to grow old I want <laughs> I want to watch my my kids grand my kids kids grow up so uh, yeah uh, I've met a, a great deal of nice people and uh, 
they know who they are because I have no problems putting them out there in, in my social media. And uh, there, there's more to come. Uh, Hog Sniper, uh, I want to be known for being genuine. You know, I'm not over the top with all the hype and hoopla. Man, I, I miss my kill shots sometimes, my gun jams sometimes, you know. Things happen. I went on a hunt. <laughs> I broke my finger because <laughs> I tripped on a rock. Luckily, I was wearing the helmet because I'd have busted my head open if I didn't. But uh, <clears throat> when you see Hog Sniper, it's just raw and uncut. So that's what I want people to think about. If I do a review on something, I'm not paid for any of this. If I use something and it works, I want to share just like I shared my, my harvest, I want to share what works with uh, or for people. Uh, if it worked for me, it can work for someone else. And people always have a discussion, well, what caliber do you use? And, oh, that one sucks and that one's better. Look, when a person has a caliber of choice, it's a personal preference, okay? Bullets react differently after a certain distance. They react different based on the grain and how they impact the, the, the uh, target. You know, you find what works for you, and that, if, if that puts you in your comfort zone, use that. It's okay. People ask me, oh, I'm a 6.5 Creedmoor guy. People ask me all the time, you really like the 6.5 Creedmoor? I'm like, yeah, I, I do. What about the 308? There's nothing wrong with the 308. Inside a 200 to 250, they're pretty much the same. On, on paper, you know, as far as the uh, ballistics numbers go. And, you know, outside of that, the only big difference is the grain of bullet that you can go up to with a 308 versus a 6.5. But they both get the job done. I, I would suggest taking a, a hunter safety course, uh, get with a person, you know, who, who can teach you gun safety and and get out there and enjoy it because you know what we <laughs> with the way the world is today you you never know when you're going to have to go back to the days of getting your own food so it's 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 a good skill to have it's a way to connect with family and friends it's just a great thing to be able to do to get out there you know it's it's a lot of learning experiences you 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 have the frustration not being able to find the animals that you want you know, uh, learning their habits. And you can apply that to things in, in life besides hunting too, so. Uh, this year has been a bit slow, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, being deployed a number of times, haven't had a chance to get out much. Uh, with the weather, it's played a big factor. We had a big freeze that killed a lot of Neil guy. Uh, killed a lot of fish and on the heels of that we we've had a period of just an ungodly amount of rain and with that uh, it creates a lot of watering holes so if you had a trail that led to a watering hole that the animals would go to now you're not seeing them because they have a supply of water somewhere else so it's, it's affected everything uh, vegetation is growing through the roof so they have plenty to eat so if you're out there trying to bait animals in you're you're seeing that there's a lack of movement because the food is plentiful in 2022 uh, a lot more collaborations with uh, raw tropic productions uh, they are doing the film work for me and I I look forward to putting out more quality videos for people to be able to, to view, learn from, and enjoy, and share. If you like the quality of what you're seeing, you can definitely give this, give this guy a call, and, and he flies. <laughs> he flies, he drives, he will make it happen. You know, he, like I'm passionate about hunting, <laughs> this guy is passionate about videography. Seeing as uh, 2022 is coming up, 
I think the last thing I want to tell my viewers is you can expect a lot more coming from this guy right here. Um, more surprises to come. Uh, different locations, different types of guns, different games, you know, fishing, the whole nine. So more to come, different locations. It just won't be in South Texas. It's going to be all over, maybe even like Oklahoma, maybe Colorado, maybe uh, out there in Portland, <laughs> you know. So, uh, well, not Portland per se, but Oregon. Uh, that's what you can expect. So stand by and uh, you will definitely see some things with it starting probably within the next month. You're going to see some good things happening. That's a little bit of insight in the hog sniper. You know, thank you for hanging out. You know, do me a favor, subscribe, share, like, and uh, I'll just send you off with well wishes and uh, be safe if you're out there hunting. And uh, I guess the last word is treat people nice, be nice to someone, you know, a random act of kindness. It's all good. It's not gonna hurt anybody, all right? So I'm out. Have a good one.